Stell is a really interesting character from the bazaar. With a flying mechanic and possible archetypes or subtypes, there's a lot to unpack and drive our speculation from the latest bazaar update. So let's dive in. First things first, when it comes to speculation surrounding Stell, the elephant in the room is her unique mechanic. So far, we've seen Pygmalion, who seems to have a focus on selling items and tanking up, and Vanessa, who has access to a lot of weaponry. Both feel different, but neither have a unique mechanic. A unique mechanic is a system within the class that completely differentiates it from another class. Imagine we're in an RPG. Vanessa and Pygmalion are both warriors, but Vanessa is the more offensive build, whereas Pygmalion has the tall tower shield and is super defensive. These classes don't have a unique mechanic, so they play in a similar way, but they play vastly different builds. Stell, and by extension any other class with a unique mechanic, may as well be the mage to Pig and Vanessa's warrior. They are a completely different subset of the game. They don't care about their HP and physical damage, they are instead looking for mana and magic spells. Alright, analogy over. Stell is going to have a unique mechanic called flying, as far as we know. Now, me and my community cannot help but try to figure this out. Just what is the flying mechanic and how will it work? Before I dive into this, if you're interested in joining in these discussions, there is a link to our Discord down in the description box below if you'd like to join us. Now, Storybrook Brawl has a flying mechanic, which basically means your minions can attack the safe enemy cards, bypassing their defenses. In any other game, this kind of makes sense, but this isn't a typical game. We already target the enemy directly, so what could flying be? Our community's best idea was flying is actually a resource. Maybe it's a stat called altitude or something that increases and decreases throughout the game, making Stell stronger or weaker depending on what has happened. Many other games add a new resource to differentiate a class, giving it a unique mechanic. Going back to our original analogy, the warrior class in your game might not even have mana to manage, but the mage gets this new minigame of keeping mana flowing correctly in order to play efficiently. This new stat was further evidenced by a tiny screenshot we see of Stell in a game from the Trollo board leak. So far, we know of four stats, Strength, Speed, Regeneration, and Armor. Check out the stats guide on the channel to learn more about those. But on this Trello board, we can clearly see five stat blocks for Stell. So our conclusion, our most promising and educated guess, is that Stell's unique mechanic will be an altitude stat, decreasing as she goes through the day or uses items, and you focus on increasing your altitude with item effects. The higher the altitude, the stronger you are. I'm sure it's much more complex than even that though, so I'm really looking forward to actually seeing Stell in the game soon. Another mechanical aspect we've started to think about with regards to Stell is archetypes or subtypes. A subtype is basically a keyword that is attached to a selection of cards within a class. All of these cards will be themed around this keyword, and the items will typically synergize well together. In fact, in most cases, a subtype card will be weaker than your average card unless it is paired with other cards from its subtype, at which point it has the potential to be supremely powerful. We have one example of these in the bazaar so far, Vanessa's aquatic subtype. This includes man-made items like anchor and dam, as well as natural items like pufferfish and coral. Many of the items do something when another aquatic item is activated or present, and so buff one another, creating these strong synergies. So what subtypes might we see for Stell? With only 80 cards on release per class, and about 10 cards being given to a subtype, I would be surprised if we get more than one subtype in a class. But what options do we have with Stell? Well, based on the card art we've seen so far, there are two items that I could see getting more items added to, to create a distinct subtype away from the general theme of Stell's sort of mechanic and flying items. And that's clothing. We already have Stell's flight jacket and some cool little headphones, so I could see that getting expanded to flying gloves, some pilot goggles, etc. If there are any aeronaut or engineer accessories you'd like to see in the game, let me know in the comments below. The other option that comes to mind for me might be a little too close to her generic theme. It would be like giving Vanessa the stabby thing subtype, or giving Jules the food subtype. But I could see a part subtype for Stell. Items that aren't fully finished pieces, but are smaller pieces that, when put together as an engineer, she can work wonders with. Maybe the burners we saw could be a part, as they aren't the whole balloon. Maybe there are certain tool-themed items, like a hammer, that buffs these parts, as well as them being able to buff one another, like with aquatic items. Regardless of what subtype she has, or if she even has one, Stell is shaping up to be a mechanically interesting mechanic, to say the absolute least. 
Moving away from game systems, what do we really know of Stell? We got some basics, but it was clear that there was a deep story past to this otherwise unassuming character. Stell is an aeronaut, most likely in her early years of adulthood, a prodigy airship engineer and pilot. She was a good student, top of her class, gaining full scholarship to the Airship Academy on Mir, the world that hosts the bazaar, we believe. This is all well and good, but Reynad alluded her to having a much richer lore, that there was a cool story to her background. Now we could wait until a lore information video is released, or until the launch of the game later this year. Or we could dive down the rabbit hole of speculation and see if we can draw together some themes from her initial skin and her revealed card art. The initial skin they decided to look at was a butterfly catcher skin. Now this alone doesn't really give us much to work on, but they had to start somewhere with these initial skins, and they wanted them to feel close to the home for the characters. So it isn't too crazy to imagine the initial designs were taken from or inspired by the lore of the character. Looking at the early drafts for the butterfly catcher, she really does look like she is one with nature here. The concept of the engineer has completely disappeared, with the small exceptions from the clock on versions 1 and 2 and the aviator glasses on 4. Otherwise, she seems to be wearing gardener type clothes and has her hair up out of the way for exploring nature. It was then iterated on to reach where we are today, and they made the design choice to make her more recognisable based on her original skin, but from that point on, if they were inspired by the lore, they're moving further from it. So let's move on and take a look at the card art. The first clue I spotted was for the previously unrevealed art for these hot air balloon burners. They have Stell's colour and they look like an engineer's contraption with thick pipes surrounding them, valves for activating them and so on. But that isn't what caught my eye. Instead, the golden design work along the bottom of each burner caught my attention. An otherwise functional piece has these almost crawling flowery patterns around its base. Now, these could be representing flames, which makes a lot of sense considering what they're attached to, but I'd expect thicker tongues of fire if that were the case. No, to me, these are certainly plant-inspired. Be that Stell's choice or the artist's decision, we're not entirely sure. Even on the pistol art, there is a small flower head design to one of the bolts holding the piece together. It didn't need to be there, and the rest of the weapon seems to have this cloud-like effect, except the barrel, which has this same flowery leaf-like effect. Then we have Bastion, I mean the Gatling gun of uh, sorts, uh, with a cute little butterfly hanging out on top. This could be included because of a butterfly catcher skin, or because Stell's law is steeped in nature. Wouldn't it make an interesting character full of internal conflict, a nature-loving butterfly catcher in her younger years, becoming a world-renowned pilot and engineer in her adult career, balancing advancement and technology with nature and serenity? It would also explain her vibrant colour palette. Anyway, I hope you folks are just as excited to see Stell as I am. She hasn't quite taken the Queen status from Jules for me, but I will certainly be rushing to give Stell and her flying machines a go when the Bazaar launches later this year. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more Bazaar content. There's plenty more to come here. I've been Gainsbury Greg, and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao. I'd rather be a dreamer, I'd rather be free. machine